this final pick. What will they lock in? I think LeBlanc is a perfect Ooh. choice in terms of power levels, and I've kind of been expecting this, the fact that you can go LeBlanc around, but the only camp that's actually yours, Canyon, is the Wolves. Tracking of Canyon should be pretty extended, but Pono is happy to have his buddy Kuz, and an Ocean Drake, the only prize for Damon Gaming. And not a great one in this, as it looks like potentially this turret is even going to go down, so a ton of gold should go the way of both Rascal and Cuz in the top side. Rascal is low, but he does have the help of his friend to take this one out. 330 extra gold to Cuz, and now no speed on the hyperdrive. So easy to crack the turret, but look at this. Damon Gaming will be able to trade. We've not always seen trades with turret plates, but it's important. Blood eventually, which by the way, has not happened, and it might be now as in goes Tucson. Or rather, Hoyt right on top of him. As Tucson gonna be in a lot of trouble here and will go down. And Throwmaker shows up with the double root as Nuggery going 1v2 on the right side is immediately gonna be punished. But an extra couple of kills in the mid lane to Dom one mean they win the fight. Positioning on both sides all over the place. Steph overextended trying to fight with Tucson. He goes down. Dom one more crucially. They've got the numbers lead. They're pushing through mid lane and the full health turret. They're taking basically no specs of dust this entire game. It's going to get decimated. Down it will go. Position lost that you're going over, but so far, Dom one have been very good in coming someone and he's got he been a lot here? of damage. He just wants to dunk it down. Well, depth, you don't have your flash, so you die. Yeah. That's uh, that's the way it goes. That Jarvin, because he's going to look around the side, but doesn't even land this hook shot. So, Nugger, he's trying to get as many of the little Krugs as he can. Two points E and then maxing W second is Nogari for. And there's a Camille shadowing this. If they get the dive here as well. Not only Camille, it's also Deft. It's three on one. And this time around, the Jarvan shouldn't look too good as the combo is dodged by Cuz going for the ultimate. Kings and three just on one get dunked it. them. That was awesome stuff from Bon. Yeah. And now what happens from here? You were mentioning the Baron speed for Dom One Gaming. They'll pick up a Mountain Drake that's going to be very nice for them. But they got to grab. Seem ripe to take over this game. Anapol's making mistakes. Is, is this one of them? Okay, uh, we're going one v two. He has his team behind him, but he wasn't expecting Pawn to be there. I would have to give him the benefit of the doubt. But now they are in so much trouble as back he will be knocked. As Lissandra, even through the aftershock, is going to go down. It's total decimation to the side of King Zone. Not even close as Cuz himself will even live on the backside, and now they will be the team to turn on to Baron. Well, the mental was turned off a little bit too long, and it gets capitalized on and feasted on by King Zone Dragon Axe. They're gonna get a free Baron from this, all because Nogari wanted to get over that wall, and he wanted to get there fast. Unfortunately, that meant EQ a pull down. He dies instantly, and so does Baron. Yeah, 10 times, Dumb One held all the cards. We're seeing the one out of 10, where Dumb One make the big mistakes. King Zone get the nice capitalization, and Nogari's watching his inhibitor turret go down, and Damwon, as a squad and in the individuals, I think in all ways are well off the pace right now and King Zone taking the maximum. Yeah. You mentioned it before, a bunch of extremely skilled young players that still have to get a little bit more experience, TP. I'd say. We'll see if they can make anything happen here as TP's coming in. There's only two members a King Zone here as Cuz is gonna get away from it, but can he survive? No, the flash comes forward. And the Camille at least will die, but they're spending so much to just try to kill them, and they're losing the whole map. Exactly, mid lane, out of tar goes down. The inhibitor is going to go down. It's Jace, by the way, and there's no way you're going to get a double kill bot side when it's LeBlanc, Camille. Camille already trolled out of the ultimate there. Cataclysm didn't come too cataclysmically. We need to fully explain this one. Dumb one now find themselves one mistake away from losing 2-0. Well, you mentioned creative mistakes. How about trying to get on into a blue buff yeah. in Vision as Rascal is going to be finally collapsed upon. Really fight. good about this one. I don't really mind the Ocean Drake. They'll take it, but as you mentioned, Elder will spawn next up as Spooky. Now, for all our analysis, Zach could talk of this game, but he might just straight up die. Okay, he's going to get the Braum into the back line, but he's super tanky. Palm getting in there as well. Okay, nice amount of damage from Nuggery into the back line, but now Cuz trying to go 1v2 as well. But he has a Guardian Angel, whereas the Jarvan does not. Meanwhile, the Lucian also goes down in the fight. 
Cuz is able to take him out. And it looks like King Zone are going to look for that 2 0 victory. And TP in as well here. Is that Deft? I believe it is. He has to flash already. Yeah, they're getting on in there, and not much that Canyon and Hoyt can do. Showmaker struggling to get in range, even. Finally, they take on the LeBlanc. And have they gone too far? Lots of low health bars and on the side of King coming Zone. In. They but might it just does do not it here. Matter. They're going to be pushing in for the victory as both Nexus turrets do go down. They're still trying to kill Death. Can they even do that, someone? The answer is going to be no as King Zone win the match 2-0. to zero. An epically frustrating game for Dumb One Gaming. And how did it start? But the trickery of Pawn on the LeBlanc. He bought so much time. And from there, the ability to reset your mental after a moment like that is not trivial, and it's to one of our new teams with those hot shot solo queue players. From they there, it, everything was from there. It won't be shown in the gold graph, but that was the moment where they got under the skin of Dumb One Gaming as a five, because it was a five-man collapse. Credit to Pawn, it was the greatest illustration of the point I was making. When Pawn can be all you can focus on, in the early to mid game, he's so often been surrounded by charges who can take it over in the late. And on a macro side, they kind of put down one on the hamster wheel, even though it seemed like this would be the game where after a solid early game, down one would force us into a game number three. Yeah, I mean, everything was looking fantastic when you have your Jarvin that, you know, just won a big trade up against Jace in the top 